Don't trip. This is for hero side and villain side. Hero side and villain side. We're talking about how to get this feat. No matter what side you're on. So don't trip. I know you guys see Owa and you think this is hero. Nah, this is for both hero and villain side. So don't trip. However, I won't be showing any villain side footage because the areas are exactly the same. Pretty much mapped out exactly the same. Just one is, you know, Avarice and Purity for heroes or Rage and Purity for villains. You're either looking at Oa or you're looking at Quan, but it's the exact same concept, exact same strategy. So, why make a video longer? Okay, let's get into this, guys. This is your boy Darkblade XX at Dark Forces Gaming Network, aka Blackhawk, division leader for DCO. What's going on? What's good, you pimp? Let's get it. There's a lot that can go good or wrong with this feat. This is a very, very old feat, and I have a really old video on how to do it. But DCUO is buggy, especially on this alert, no matter what side you're on. So instead of just uploading that perfect video, I'm going to actually just redo it because there's so many bugs and there's a lot to talk about. With that being said, guys, when I do any of my feed videos, I try to do it from perspective of you being able to first come in here. So what I'm going to suggest, guys, is you come in here at level 105. I'm going to suggest a balanced group, but keep in mind, take from this what you will. You can come here with any type of set if you want. You want to stack your DPSs, or don't, or you want to forget your troll, or you just want to go in here with tank and DPSs, or whatever group you want. I'm going to suggest a balanced group of one tank, one healer, one troll, one DPS, but once again, take from this what you will. With that being said, you're going to need to get to the next part. So you're going to have to fight the first boss. As you see that we're about to do. Once you get past the first boss fight, there will be a teleporter that will take you over to the next area. Whether you're on villain side going to Quan or on hero side going to Oa. Once you and your group are over there, this is where the feat begins. You and your teammates actions will decide whether or not you get this feat or fail it. All hands must be on deck. With that being said, the alert is glitched. The alert itself will decide whether or not you and your teammates get this feat. But I will try to walk you guys through this perfectly so that I can almost guarantee that you will get this feat. Once you guys are over there, the immediate area is safe to walk in. However, once you go a couple feet, I want to say about 7 meters, that is when you guys need to be on your A game. Everybody should be crawling forward now from this point forward. Do not run. Do not walk fast. Crawl forward. I am not exaggerating. Once you get close enough to a landmine, it will pop up. And if you come in contact with it or even get just too close to it, it will explode and you will fail this feat. Just walk really, really slowly. Once you walk forward a little bit, you'll come to an area that will have a device on the ground. Pick it up. This device is used to disarm all the traps in the alert. Designate at least one person to carry that out of your group. It is now everybody's job to walk around slowly and find all the landmines without setting them off. The person who has the device, your job is to slowly approach a landmine but without actually entering it. You want to get just somewhat close to it. Once you're somewhat close to it, Face the landmine and drop the device. It should slide forward into the landmine. And that should deactivate it. Now, I know some people are going to say, just carry the device and walk into the landmine. While you could do that, you might actually just set off the landmine. And the reason that is, is because this is a glitched alert. Sometimes there are landmines on top of landmines. So why you disabled the first landmine, the one that's underneath that landmine is about to go off. If this way works for you, continue to do the rest of the landmines that exact same way. However, keep in mind that depending on your queue, aka 50-50 uh, chance, whenever you queue up, this way that I just told you may not work for you at all. At that point, what you're going to have to actually do is pick up the device and actually walk into the landmine. And good luck, because like I said, sometimes they're double stacked. So there's a chance that you will maybe just fail the feat either way. But at least I'm giving you guys options and choices, right? Whichever way works for you, keep in mind that you're going to have to keep doing the rest of the alert just like that. Also keep in mind this. 
when you're looking for these landmines, they're all over the place. They are never in the same spot. Every time you queue, they're in a different spot. They're coming action. They could be on the ground or, heaven help you, they could actually be in the air. That is a bug. Hopefully by now that bug has been fixed and all the landmines will be just on the ground. They can even be in between walls. That's right, in between walls on the ground, but you just see them if they're on the ground. So keep that in mind. Since these landmines are all over the place, you're really going to have to have you and your teammates walking around. There is only one area where the landmines are in the exact same place every time you queue. From this point forward, do what you know that works for you and continue along your path until the last boss fight. Do not enter the boss fight room, however. There are no landmines within that room. This feat is granted as soon as you disable the last landmine. That being said, if you fight the boss, all remaining landmines in the game disappear. And since you didn't disable them, the feat is voided. If you're about to fight the boss and you have not gotten the feat, retrace your steps and look for that last missing landmine. Chances are you just didn't see it and need to retrace your steps, or maybe you or one of your teammates have set one off. Or the alert has glitched and you can't get to the landmine because the landmine is either high in the air or the landmine is deep below you where you can't get to at all. You may need to re -queue. Another tip, when you're carrying this device on Oa, when you go to the teleporters, the device tends to get stuck in your hand. Ground slam the device on the ground and that's it, fix it, and you should be able to slide it again. Anyway guys, I hope these tips help you out. If you guys have any comments or questions, leave them in the section below and I will get back to you. Thanks for watching this video guys. This is your boy Darkblade XX of Dark Enforcers Gaming Network, aka Blackhawk Division Leader 4 DCO. Dark Enforcers, Darkness Rises, holla.